Hey everyone, how's your day? Um, Alex here and in this video uh, we'll be taking a look at Stampedo ransomware how you can get rid of it and how you can decrypt your files so um, this is a very nasty ransomware which uh, encrypts your files and uh, it's adding uh, that locked extension to all of your files over here I have some sample files for testing some music, photos and documents here um, here are tools um, which we will use to, um, to remove this uh, nasty ransomware and uh, to decrypt our files also I have I created one folder here with the, the, uh, the same files from desktop for testing purposes so here is the file um, if we if we open um, virus total here, which is not working fine at the moment, I mean Google Chrome is not working fine. Uh, we will see that 42 out of 56 uh, antivirus engines detects it at, as a malicious here. Trojan generic, so almost all mm, famous antivirus companies says it's a uh, it's nasty malware so now we will pro open process explorer on the right right hand side here and we will run the sample so run as administrator and there it is immediately running in memory as you can see and uh, yeah, here you go. All our files are now um, white, and um, that locked extension is added to all of them, as you can see. That locked, that locked. So all pictures, all music, is now um, encrypted. And here is uh, here is this malicious process running here. So this pop-up window says all your files have been um, probably decrypted encrypted sorry and uh, all your documents database text images videos music were encrypted secret key using secret secret key to decrypt your files you will need to buy the secret key from us of course um, you need to email them to this email and uh, they will send you uh, encryption key decryption key so next Russian roulette is in 5 hours and f uh, 59 minutes so they will randomly delete one of your file and uh, time until total deletion is uh, 3 days and 23 hours 24 hours so here is your personal ID and uh, before we start with cleaning uh, here is one important step that you should do before start um, before you start removing your malware this malware so uh, you need to to remember this or to write somewhere on your, on the paper i will do it in document your personal id so uh, i hope this file uh, will not be encrypted right now so copy to clipboard It's not working. Let's write it here. CC B517D1. So this is your personal key. And one more thing you need to do is to copy this email because uh, they are using different emails. And this is uh, important. These two information are important for uh, later decryption. So if you if you uh, removed your malware and you you have still your files decrypt, encrypted and uh, then uh, I suggest you to run it again anyway because your files are already encrypted and there is no further damage that can be done. So I suggest you to run it again and uh, to write this information down. So we will remember this and. Uh, 
first of all, if you try to uh, terminate this malicious process, you can't. Here, it's locked. If you open a task manager, you can uh, see the actual path to the file. Uh, it's SV host, of course, it's a uh, it's fake SV host. So if you try to end it, no, it's not working. So open file location, and um, the malicious file is uh, in uh, app data roaming folder, but you can delete it because um, it's locked. It's uh, it's used by other service or process. So uh, to terminate this malicious process, we will use unlocker. This will delete files uh, which are not, which are running under other services or processes. So let's do a quick installation here. There it is. So so now let's open the file location and delete uh, the malware. So this is svhost.exe It's fake. It's not a real svhost. So right click and click on unlocker. And select delete action. So click OK. Uh, the object cannot be deleted. Uh, do you want to perform the requested delete operation at next reboot? Yes. So we will need to restart the system. But first, uh, click on start and type msconfig. ms. We want to make sure uh, malware is not running at startup here. And it's running as you can see. This is a Windows update. So it's unknown and uh, click apply and ok so I will now reboot the system and I will be back in a second alright I rebooted the system and uh, I performed one malware byte scan so I detected some um, potentially unwanted programs but uh, they were already on the system before I started this test so it's not important and it detected one infected object here in a temp folder so we will remove it uh, do you want to restart now? no I will do that later so I, I suggest you um, to do additional scans with some other antivirus engine such as uh, Kaspersky virus removal tool probably Hitman Pro, uh, Norton Power Racer, MCSoft Anti-Malware or maybe, I don't know, Asset Online Scanner. They are all pretty good. So, um, when, you, when you're when 100% positive that uh, the malware is gone, then you can start decrypting your files. So, uh, if System Restore or um, Windows Image Backup and Restore is not working for some reason, or you don't have uh, previously created checkpoints and snapshots and uh, that you can revert to and uh, then we will use some tools this is from Trend Micro from uh, from MCS of Trend Micro and Avast so some of this should work for you let's try Trend Micro I believe I already tested this one so it should work fine so open it as administrator agree select the ransomware name so this one is called uh, this one is called stampedo here it is okay select the encrypted file or folder to start decrypting it so let's try with um, the folder this one sample files everything is uh, as you can see locked and unusable so let's select the folder 
sample files, ok. Some files need more information to continue, click here, this is important step. So enter your ID, which we previously wrote in the document or on the paper, your ID, copy it here, and email because these scammers are uh, changing their emails and you should know the right one that was on the screen and also your ID this is important so now we have this information click click continue and now it start uh, decrypting the files so 13 out of 13 so see decrypted files and there you go it's working fine now we have back our photos and uh, documents and other stuff. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope this helped some of you and uh, see you soon with more videos. So bye bye for now.